What's up everybody, here is Mr. Phil and Boy coming at you with another episode, let's play Ratchet and Clank 3 Well, that load screen was rather fast, I thought the game crashed for a second Anyway, this is Obani Draco, the third moon of the Obani Gemini system, I believe Oh yeah, we don't, can't have the map there, of course, so... Let me just check... Yeah, the whole Obani system. So yeah. And this is a cool level, I like it. It's not hard, but it's a, it's a cool concept, at least. So anyway, in the last episode, when I was going through the final hallway before getting to the ship, you remember me saying that it's autumn and that's why I chose rain instead of snow. Well the funny thing about that it was the day I uploaded that which was Friday that morning we actually got snow so I believe that's the first time I've seen snow in October because usually it, we have it like November and sometimes we don't have snow at all like a couple of years ago we actually had snow in January and we spent Christmas without snow and that's really rare anyway back to this game this is a huge place very linear you can't use clank here because you're using magnet boots all the time and more than half time I can't tell if we're going if we are in the ceiling or in the bottom or in the wall or something. It just doesn't make sense yeah that bit is fairly easy because you don't need to keep switching the lane but then we got this area. Yeah, this concept returns from Ratchet and Clank 1 because I believe this. We, I, at least I can't remember if I saw this in Ratchet and Clank 2. Probably I did, but I'm not so sure. And there's the end of the level already. Ow. Three minutes in and we're almost done guys. As a matter of fact we are done. So before we go here I would recommend getting your heaviest weapons out. Black Turklov, Disc Blade Gun and probably Night Roach or so. Yeah, cuts in time. This is the testing laboratory for the bio obliterator. Let's see what Nefarious has been up to. Whoa! Like I never knew you were this kinky, Miss Gears. Don't you ever shut up. Okay, I'll get it. Man, the guys aren't gonna believe this. Like destroy all species, dude. Uh, they turn skin into a robot? That's impossible! No, for Dr. Nefarious. Don't be afraid, Roger. The transformation doesn't hurt. Besides, I think you'll enjoy being a robot. Let's see if you can fight better than you can sing. So yeah guys, we are actually fighting Miss Courtney Gears here. In the same area we... we bleh, the same area where she had that music video we saw in Dax. This fight can be pain in the ass. Mainly because of these guys. Of these robots here. But Plasma Witch should work works really well against these guys and we got many truck club person too. When she's like outside like there then you want to use something that is actually effective like the big disc blade gun and if you get hit 
she'll just disappear. More robots come out. So get your weapon ready. And see, do then to do that. And otherwise, this boss battle can be r r really easy, like that. One disposable pop star disposed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you okay, Clank? Transmission from the Phoenix. We've located a ferry to Star Cruiser. It's refueling at the Zeldin Starport. Cork is already on his way there. It might be a trap. I think Courtney Gears was setting us up. Even so, it could be our only chance to stop Nefarious. We'll meet Cork at the Starport. Be careful, Rex. Come on, Clank. We'll come back for Skid later. Oh wait, the cutscene is over. Sorry. Thank you. My rabbit was just scratching the door. And he doesn't like that I I closed my door. Anyway, we're gonna buy out this weapon and all of the ammo. And this is the thingy where Skid was turned into a robot. And this is the teleporter back to the ship. And that's pretty much what we can do here. No platinum points, no skill points. I'll see you next time when we're going to Seldrin Starport. See ya!